Hi LJNs! For this video, let me share you the most solid and fun way of traveling. Let us first explore our very own, like this place in Batangas City. Here's our simple itinerary together with our photo compilation. Welcome to Batangas hey. City! It's 5.30 in the morning and we're now ready for the ride from our meet application in SM MOA. At last, we're now here on our first destination, the Marian Orchard. Marian Orchard is a place for you to be solemn. It is a beautiful church for praying, a place of worship, which is located in Balete, Batangas. We also got to experience an awesome and sweet smell of flowers like Bougainvillea that surrounds the place. Wish I could spend more time here but we were just given one hour. I think it's enough time to enjoy the place. Taal as a heritage town has a lot to offer in the area. Its history, culture, and religion. It was nice to visit this place and we are glad that the local tourism of Batangas ensure the preservation of the old houses and continue to find ways to promote our rich culture in the place as well as the country. By the way, in here you can also take a walk around the vicinity with lots of souvenirs available. Visiting Villa Jovita is a place where you can capture a lot of great photos and also a good place for relaxation, especially during summer. And as we all know, the place is very attractive for the tourists and the millennials as well. If you are into social media posting, this is also good for you because it has a lot of IG and FB worthy features. We really enjoy the place. The giant swing was at first scary yet fun-filled experience as well. To Fantasy World Though it was known as the abandoned amusement park with a medieval theme featuring castle structures, a rope bridge, and a lot more, the place gave us such a great unwinding time that makes us feel relaxed from a stressful week. There are a lot of activities in Fantasy World that made us also remember our childhood memories. And if you are a fan of fairy tale and a magic themed it is the best place you wanted to be in. The place have a maze garden, the tree house with the hanging bridge, the castles. Take a picture on different rides and a lot more. By the way, before I forgot, the entrance fee is 1,000 pesos for a group of Gingerbread house, the place is a good and a perfect place for the younger ones. 
and to us, of course, who's young at heart. The gingerbread house exterior looks attractive. You can go on their booth and join in some of the activities there like fish massage. They also have man-made balloons and a nice children's playground. At Bulalo Point, we had an R eating, our early dinner, a best food, and a cold weather. Yum! After an almost two hours of travel, we arrived back in SM Mall of Asia. It was tiring, yet I could say that this is one of the best beautiful views, nicest, and happiest place we ever visited. I hope you enjoyed watching!